Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid S episode number 7. Alright, the previous episode, uh, it was a slice of lifey type of an episode with a uh, little, like, you know, information coming up, popping up. We got a little bit of Kozer Guatel, a little bit of uh, Fafnir and a little bit of Kanna and Saikawa. So, like, it was like, as a normal, like, you know, episode where, like, you know, we see how what Quasar Quartal is actually, like, you know, what she uh, thinks about her actually living here. Why, like, you know, why Sota is kind of frustrated about, you know, uh, Quasar Quartal kind of looking at him as a kid. But at the same time, we can see Quasar Quartal uh, has, uh, like, you know, is like she, her fascination, not fascination, but he really likes the fact that he can stay here, you know, because he's, she's tired of, like, moving from place to place and Fafni like you know he has his own what can I say uh, reasons why he's living here and like you know uh, he wants to see what the other dragons how the other dragons will uh, adapt themselves to this place because like you know he feels it's comical that you know like dragons are actually trying to uh, impersonate humans Whereas he himself is actually doing that at the same time. And uh, that was that. And Saikawa and Kana had a little bit of a trip. And they kind of saw... Uh, that was Elma, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, in the river and like, you know, stuff happened. And that was like a cute little uh, section. So, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number 7 of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, what's happening? Power. Yeah, does he have something to do with his Weave hobbies or something? <laughs> I'm sure it's something. <laughs> it's for something weird. Like, you know, like maybe, maybe he needs. Uh, I don't know to get a limited version of his game or something that's coming out. <laughs> and he wants Quetzal Quarter's power for that. I don't know. Must be something like that. Let's see. <laughs> Boy. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's see what he actually needed it for. I'm sure it's something weird and stupid. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Wait, so she, he was an assistant? Oh. True. <laughs> well, treasure. What? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay, that's why he is <laughs> trying to make a manga. Oh yeah, he did the book first. 
Oh boy. Well. <laughs> Did I get you go? Oh. What? Oh boy. Okay, alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's blunt. Wow. Um let's see what he wrote. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um <laughs> yeah <laughs> and the main part <laughs> oh okay uh <laughs> damn the plot twist <laughs> oh wow Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This won't sell. <laughs> okay. Okay, show us what you drew. What? Eh. <laughs> um. Oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Boy, oh my god! Uh, oh my god! <sighs> well, he'll be a good horror manga guy. I can see that. Oh my god! Let's see. Whoa! Um... <laughs> uh... You know what? For a horror manga, I think this is good. <laughs> so... <laughs> Oh wow. Treasure. No, he's giving some games or something, I'm sure about it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, do sell. You don't know Fafnir. This is the <laughs> I'm sure it'll, it'll be all out, you know, all sold out. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, wow, he did. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Boy. Ah. Oh, wow, fast. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, oh boy. <laughs> oh my god, Sota.
<laughs> Big on devil. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Yellow, isn't it? No, it's Kobayashi, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, I need the glasses. What? Yeah, she's late. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So what? She, what does she do at night? Oh, hibernation, yeah. Hmm. Trigger. Boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she is sleeping, okay. Oh my god, so the thing that Fafni said, they're impersonating humans, and... Oh yeah. Yeah, she needs to get charged. <laughs> Yulu is also sleeping. <laughs> yeah, she's... Ah, uh... oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Back to sleep. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> And she's eating. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Every night. Yeah. Boredom. Oh, interesting. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Boredom. She can take up some hobby. Oh, we saw what happens when he takes she takes a hobby. Mm. Oh, she's up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was sleeping all along. Yeah, tiredness as well. Yeah. Flesh. Oh.
Oh, so the same thing happened to them as well, I'm guessing, after they came here. Yeah, true. Very well put by Kobayashi. Yeah. It's a mixture of all. Yeah, it's a mixture of all the reasons. Like you get tired, you have nothing else to do, everyone is sleeping, so you also go to sleep. You know? Oh yeah, she's fair to sleep. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh yeah, today she has her job to go to. Oh boy. Newspaper. Ghost. Oh. It's like those uh seven wonders of the school or something they say. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo mante <laughs> Egghead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? I don't think so. Wow. Uh. <laughs> yeah i think there's one of those urban legends where there's like number of steps in the school is different the, you know when you go up or when you go, go down Servant. <laughs> oh my god, Saikawa. <laughs> okay, let's see what you... Oh my god. She's been crazy. <laughs> and she's taking, taking the photo. Oh my god, Saikawa. Oh, Kobe actually can't now. I was like, who's Kobe? <laughs> All right. Whoa. Oh no, Kana. Whoa, what the? Whoa. <laughs> wow, that was intense. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh no! I, I, I hope it didn't hit someone. Yeah, it hit. <laughs> okay. God. Are they upperclassmen, I'm guessing?
Okay. Yeah, those are all the students. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's not a scream. What is that? All right, calm down. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's not some, it's something else. That didn't sound like a scream. Damn, Skype's quite spooky. Oh, okay. Kind of freaky. Whoa, what the? What's, what's that? What the? What the hell? Is that a pixie? Or fairy? Ah, uh, yeah, it is a oh boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Why? <laughs> it's interesting that we actually feel the same thing about them in a way as well, like, you know? In supernatural stuff, as we can see, people are scared of ghosts because they don't know what ghosts actually are. Interesting to see that the fairy also thinks it's the same. Hmm. Oh. Oh yeah, it, okay. Okay, go in. It, it's training Ilulu. All right, there you go. Space. <laughs> yes, I'll do it. <laughs> Should I? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, that was a nice cute episode again. Ah. Uh. Okay, so this episode was broken up into two parts, yeah? Two parts or was it three parts? Ah, three parts, three parts, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> so yeah, one thing I was saying, like, it's interesting to see that, like, as I was saying, we are scared of things that we don't know. That's why people are afraid of the dark, because people are actually unable to see what is in the darkness and whatever, anything that we don't, are not familiar with, we're scared of it. So it's interesting to see that supernatural beings also kind of 
think the same about humans like the little fairy was okay that's the end yeah the little fairy was saying stuff like oh like you know it's really scary like those humans we don't know what they're going to do stuff like that so it's interesting to see that they also are you know in a way afraid of things unknown things for them so yeah that was kind of interesting okay anyways okay this episode here the beginning the first part of the episode we see Fafni actually trying to um <laughs> uh make a dojinshi and go to the uh, comic get to def not defeat but you know to yeah defeat defeat uh takia so he <laughs> he like in the beginning he was like i need your power and i was sure at that moment i was sure like yeah it's it's not something like you know uh too dangerous is he, his mean he must be like asking for her help for something very normal for example i thought like it would be something regarding his games or something i thought he would probably say stuff like oh like you know there's like a new limited edition game coming out and people are actually like you know it has been sold out pre-ordered i need your power to actually get one or something like that i thought it was it would be something like that <laughs> and uh, yeah but turns out that she, she he really did not need any special powers he just needed uh Luqua to uh, model for him and <laughs> like the 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 thing that he uh, like you know created by the end of it it is pretty good for a horror manga, like, you know, horror manga and drawing, you know, the, the drawing was kind of interesting, uh, what do you call it, like, kind of uncon, uh, like, different from what we actually see, and it's very simple, and in a way, it really was kind of, what do you call it, like, you know, had essence of horror in it, in a way, it was so simple and so, like, you know, the way it was drawn at least i think so you know like i i think like if he actually starts making horror mangas and stuff it'll quite <laughs> be what can i say like you know he, he might become popular so i don't know like you know but i kind of liked his manga drawings but yeah anyways and but it's it was it's, it was the comic it and obviously i was sure like you know everyone was sure that luke was costly photographs would definitely be sold out and obviously takia himself is pretty um accustomed to all of this and he he's like he, he he's a real weeb so like he knows what people actually go for <laughs> and i'm sure he made something like that some kind of a story like that and he got sold out as well so sad for fafni that he tr tried so much you know and he even like <laughs> made a complete new story they did the drawings and stuff but shame nothing like, you know, no one bought it and uh, <laughs> the only one who probably got to look at it was Sota, like because he sent it to Luqua's house. <laughs> oh my god! And uh, yeah, it was interesting that he was, <clears throat> like, you know, like we all know, like dragons actually love treasure, and like you know, like then Takia said that, oh, you love treasure, so why don't you make something which you can treasure your whole life? That will have even more value for you. And even though he like you know he made something himself but i'm sure it'll take a little bit of time for it to actually sell out and at that moment is if he's really able to make something that people really love and he himself is satisfied with i'm sure it will be something that he'll be able to treasure you know for his life throughout his life and uh yeah like the, the main thing is that he's having fun that's basically it you know drawing mangas and <laughs> going to the conventions and uh yeah gaming what else watching anime <laughs> boy all right <clears throat> okay so that was that and then we come to the next scene where <clears throat> we get a little bit of uh section with sleeping now sleeping as kobayashi explains in a very good way it's actually something that like you know no one knows why like you know like why people like sleep at night and uh, like like i'm like you know i'm sure like as she said like there was someone who said that oh it's it's a night time let's all go to sleep and everyone started going to sleep and that kind of spread out and obviously the night time is a bit difficult for humans because they're not nocturnal in any way and that's why people usually like you know keep awake in the morning and go to sleep at night when it's like you know dark and everything and uh yeah like that that's basically the reason why people sleep at night there are obviously ex exceptions especially nowadays where 
we like you know uh, of, like people like you know uh, people and kids of our generation we usually are most of us are all night owls i'm sure of it like i'm sure like the people who are watching this video 90 or uh, 75% at least are people who wake up late at night even i wake like you know keep awake late at night and like, sleep uh, like you know kind of late uh for people like you know for people who don't have uh, like you know a job in the big, like you know, in the morning i'm sure for them as well like you know for them especially like they keep awake at night and kind of sleep a little bit late and uh, <laughs> it's kind of different nowadays but we have like the internet with us now you know like that's why i'm sure like you know the modern technology is the biggest reason why people actually stay up at night more because we have stuff to do as kobashi said that people usually don't have anything to do at night because everyone is asleep so that's why they also go to sleep so now that we have stuff to do even on our own and uh, like you know and like the internet has made the world a smaller place even at like you know late at the night we can play some you know multiplayer mmorpgs where we can uh, like you know meet with friends somewhere in a different part of the world we can like you know talk with them chat with them anytime anywhere in the world so that's why the whole thing of like yeah we don't have anything to do so we should go to sleep has completely go went away people sleep whenever they want to nowadays <laughs> and it's fine you know like it's completely fine as long as you're getting the amount of sleep you actually need you know uh, six to seven hours every every day i think that that's it yeah it differs for people obviously some there are some people who actually need a lot less sleep some people who actually need a little bit more sleep it differs but six to six uh, about 30 minutes is the staple average time of people actually sleeping so yeah like nowadays like people sleep whenever they want to because they have stuff to do nowadays and yeah technology <laughs> okay anyways um yeah and then uh <clears throat> now interesting thing here like in the previous episode we actually saw fafni telling um, things like oh people uh, the dragons are actually mimicking humans and we can see that in a way here as well where like you know like is the same for Kobayashi and all they came here they never knew sleep and they never slept before usually so now that they are in boredom here which they never experienced before and they're enjoying that boredom they go to sleep nowadays and just like the humans and it's really showing what like you know Fafni told in one of in the previous episode he said something like you know like it's, it's comical to see that the dragons are mimicking humans and I want to see how long they'll be able to keep this up and uh, it's really interesting to see that not only Toru but Elma, everyone, even Fafni himself, is actually basically doing the same thing. And they're basically like you know getting swept up on on the in the human space. You know they just came here. They were like foreign beings, foreign entities from some other world. And then as they started living with the humans here, they're getting swept up in their pace. You know, uh, Fafni started playing video games. Toru, like you know, started liking Kobashi and doing stuff. Started doing stuff for her. They even go to sleep. Kana wants to go to school. There you go. You know, for a, a child like obviously she's a dragon. I'm sure if she was in the other world, she would never have even went to school. But here she sees that there are people actually going to school, having fun. People, uh, children who are at her age. You know, and she also wants to do that and uh, same, same same thing for uh, ilulu as well she came here she loved children so that's why she started doing the part-time job like each and every and luca as well you know like she she likes living here she likes the you know uh, the peaceful times she doesn't want to go like, you know move from one place to another she wants a place where she can call home so yeah like they're getting swept up in the human space and that's perfectly fine because as they said like you know we never had boredom in our place so I'm liking, like, you know, Toru said that I'm liking this boredom and I would love to, like, you know, uh, live in this boredom for future years as well. And, uh, yeah. Okay, that was that. And then we get to the next scene, uh, section, where, um, <laughs> they, want, they start, like, you know, the children, they try to find a ghost. <laughs> boy that was funny and like the thing that came up uh the i think it's called the urban mystery 
urban legends of the school the seven urban legends or something every school i think in japanese school every school most of the schools kind of have one where there's like there's a staple few of them which obviously i know from watching anime there's this one where i kind of mentioned before like there's like a staircase where you actually go up like for example there are like usually like 13 staircases but if you go up and count you'll find out that there's 14 staircase and then they say something like there's like this one staircase which is like a door to hell or something i'm not sure something like that there's like an urban legend that's one another one is obviously uh, the staple hanako-san of the toilet you know like there's a there's a girl in the toilet and uh, like you know that's one thing another thing is the uh, anatomy model of the uh, uh, you know science room yeah i think so like the anatomy model starts moving <laughs> the, that one there's another one i know is it's i think it's like related to a mirror or something where you look at the mirror or something something like that i can't remember what it actually is that thing there's a lot of them you know i can't properly remember uh oh the piano you know there's like the piano that starts playing on its own and uh, the, i think there's an, also another one in the roof where there's usually a like you know a rumor of someone actually having committed suicide and uh, like like you know like the, the ghost of that person kind of uh, lurks around in the roof and kind of like you know it drags you down or something and there's a lot of them i i really love these type of like you know urban legends whatever like and it's like a spooky type of vibe <laughs> kind of interesting in a way and there's a lot of them i can't actually remember but you know like i've seen a lot of animes played a lot of visual novels where like you know these type of things come into uh play and i i'm really quite interested in them so yeah anyways um so yeah that was that and like this obviously that the last section kind of reminded me of that as they were trying to find out what was the scream that was coming out from the uh, the, the one of the rooms and <laughs> the boy like Saikawa was like you know like no I'm not going to do this and as soon as Kanna says that yeah I like it I'm going to do it like I was like okay I'll do it <laughs> boy and uh, yeah they have a little bit of a game uh, Kanna shows her immense reflexes as expected of her and uh, yeah they get go to the room and they actually find out that it was a uh, not they but Kanna finds out they don't know what was happening it was a little fairy um an old man fairy yeah <laughs> oh my god and uh, yeah and then like you know they kind of Kanna takes him home and you know he goes back to his own world <clears throat> and, and that's when the, the whole section come where he actually says that it's like you know kind of amazing that you can live here with the humans because like this game fairy himself said that i'm quite scared of them because we don't know what they are and here it comes the fear of the unknown everyone has <laughs> has this not only us humans we fear the unknown that's why uh you know people like most of the people are afraid of dark there's a lot of people and i myself am one of them who, who are not afraid of ghosts but we're afraid of the dark you know like uh like you know i i don't obviously like i'm not afraid of ghosts but if there's like a dark place you know with nothing like weird creepy place obviously i'm going to hesitate in going there because it's dark we don't know what is in there it, it's the fear of unknown and for every living being this thing exists you know some people it's very less some people it's quite more but it exists in every people and it's fine like you know it's interesting to see that even the supernatural beings here are also scared of the unknown as like this fairy said that we are afraid of the humans <laughs> boy that was interesting and uh, yeah and then they <laughs> decided to do another thing you know like and this time they're going to find out about aliens <laughs> and yeah they're having their like you no know, fun having fun as kids that's all well and good so yeah that was it so that was this episode as we can see like you know it's like a fun like you know slice of lifey episode again uh, i'm sure this will continue for a couple of episodes and something might happen you know usually that's how like you know these type of animes goes where there's like i'm guessing it's usually at the ninth or the tenth episode where there's like a, something serious happens and i'm sure this time the serious thing that will happen will be re related to ilulu because she's kind of the main not main character but she's kind of the main focus of this season i think 
so i'm sure it'll be something regarding her and uh, it'll probably get serious then but now we're all happy having fun and uh, yeah let's just you know um <laughs> the thing that Tonu said uh, let's just have fun with our boredom because uh like you know boredom and peace is the best thing that could ever happen so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was this episode this was my reaction to miss kobayashi's dragon maid s episode number seven so if you guys enjoyed this reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of miss kobayashi's dragon maid s so until then goodbye and have a nice day